So the easiest way to figure out what the customer needs are is looking at the reviews. Then we can find those unfulfilled needs and the needs that are absolutely necessary to them. So before I show you guys how we do it and kind of hands on, I'm just going to tell you quick what we're looking for. Uh, you know, we're going to go and look at the reviews of the products of ones that are really high star and the ones that are lower. So you can see of the products that are crushing it, what is important to them. And then of the ones that need improvement, uh, you know, what's up. So basically what we're looking for is like, who's using this. So that way we get a better in-depth knowledge of, you know, who our customer base is. Uh, then also like the use cases, are they using this for anything specifically? Uh, Cause you know, we could include that in our listing or maybe that's, there's a better solution for that. Uh, you know, really, well, of course we wanna know what they don't like or even what they wish it had. Cause that's, I mean, that's just them saying, I wish it had this. And so it's like, hey, build this for me. Okay, and then also what they like because uh, you know, if something, if they like something about it, then we should probably include that in it. Okay, so we're gonna go and look at drone carrying cases or backpacks just to analyze the market and kind of learn who the people are buying and what their needs are and what they kind of like and what they don't like. So we'll take a look at this one. So what we use is the Helium 10 Chrome extension and we can use this review downloader. Now it's really nice and we could choose the dates. We'll just choose all of them. Uh, I'm only gonna choose verified purchases because essentially what verified purchase means somebody paid at least 50% of the retail price. Uh, so it's not a fake review. And then I don't care about the other ones. Now, if you were to just choose this, uh, it would only show the two, three, four, and five stars. If we did this, it would only show the five stars, but we wanna download all of them uh, just to get as much data as possible. Then you hit extract. You don't need to pay for Helium 10 to get this. You can get the Chrome extension for free. We have a link, a link down there. And what you could do is you could either export these and save them into Excel yourself, or we could use an analysis. And I like to use the analysis because you can see exactly what people are using this for. So I would say it's pretty safe to say that people are using this for the Phantom 3. So what is that? Well, that's a use case right there. So that's kind of neat. So we looked up drone carrying cases and it appears that the Phantom 3 is showing up a lot here. So that's something good to note here. Um, let's see, what else is there? Um, main compartment. So let's see, it says high quality fits perfectly, people carry it. Uh, you can fit other small items in it or something. Fits my Phantom. Okay, so yeah, you can, that, that's kind of a neat thing. What we could also do now is go ahead and start looking at some other ones. Do the same process. Okay, this, well, this was obviously for the Phantom 3, but this one apparently seems to be that too. So you could get a high level analysis by doing this, but if you really wanna dig in and find some more uh, you know, important stuff, go ahead and start looking at maybe the three stars. Well, so here's an interesting thing to note. So this has 3.7 stars, but all of the verified purchases are five stars. Very interesting. We go back and read the other one. We can read some negative reviews to see what people want to improve. So this one, he bought it for the Phantom 4, uh, but after three weeks, it's durability head question. So it had a low quality zipper and then there was a little hole. Okay, so it looks like this isn't the highest quality. So quality is definitely important. You could also go ahead and read the positive ones and start to you know really see what's important. So here's sturdy. Racing quad. All of my racing quad stuff fits in the bag. Okay, so people are using these to race drones potentially. So if you wanna get the most feedback, look at the two to the four star reviews. Cause typically five stars, I mean, they can be great if somebody absolutely loves it. Uh, and then once, but you're like, you're either getting somebody who's absolutely a fanboy or somebody who's absolutely mad. And oftentimes the one star reviews, they're just like, there's one thing that was wrong and it's a one star or it was like shipping or something. So if you look in the two to four, that's somebody who's like, 
That's just a different type of person who puts a two to a four star review versus a five or a one. So here is a four star review. This guy researched for weeks and decided to buy it. So that is something I would want to read. The Phantom fits snug. I have room for two extra batteries. So there's a use case and you need to kind of know how it goes. My remote controller and his camera. So people are maybe bringing their camera and their drone. That makes sense. Okay, so he says right here, the only issue that he has is that the waist strap is pretty difficult to adjust. It appears that many of the drone backpack makers have no clue that people who hike need to carry water and oftentimes needs lots of water. With the bag, there are mesh pouches on both sides for water bottles. This is a huge plus. So that's actually very true. I mean, with my drone myself, oftentimes I'm bringing it when I'm hiking or traveling. Uh, you know, I'm not just going out and just randomly flying my drone. It's normally I'm only going to do drone if I'm traveling. And if you're traveling, you're probably going to need water. So that's cool. So, you know, in these in-depth reviews, you're really going to be able to find out those things that people love and things they wish they had. And then also room for improvement and just get a really in-depth analysis of the market so that you can uh, come up with a good idea of what you should innovate on. So in general, I'm gonna look over all the reviews and start to kind of mind map it out. So, you know, gather down who's gonna be the target market, what are their needs, you know, what are the use cases, and then you're gonna be able to kind of put these together and draw a picture of what's on the market and what are the needs and what doesn't exist. So obviously, just after reading a couple of those reviews, we saw there was like a drone racer, somebody traveling. Uh, it looked like everybody universally wanted to protect the drone. And then obviously room for accessories. They all talked about, you know, having extra propellers or batteries and stuff like that, uh, cameras and that somebody complained about it not being comfortable around the waist. Uh, somebody was saying they were going to go hiking with it. Um, and they're obviously all transporting their drones. And then somebody was like, oh, the water bottles holder was really nice. Nobody else has that. So you can start to just kind of make your own mind map and just a really good way to start planning out the needs and see where the holes in the market are. So this was the this was the process that I used to innovate in the Eclipse market. I got to learn all about the market that people are using for photography. They're using telescopes. People were buying for their kids. They were worried about the safety and worried about their kids taking them off. And if I wouldn't have done this process, I wouldn't have known to make the goggles. I wouldn't have known to go and make telescope filters and camera filters. And I wouldn't have really known about the target market. So this is a very valuable process to figure out those customer needs. So make sure to go download that free Accenture from Helium 10. It's a really useful tool. And now they added that word cloud, you can really analyze in depth. So I, I like that. Uh, our, now we're actually gonna show you guys how to go find product opportunities. But as you're digging in and you're like, hey, I think there might be room for improvement here. Uh, that's one way that you can go and actually dig and find out some more data. Now, some markets might not even have that many reviews and are still a good product opportunity. You see that later in the course, but reviews, definitely a good way to validate. And there's a validation section at the end. So just some quick tips with this. Obviously, we were just kind of analyzing that high level. Maybe you could go and just download all the negative reviews from the people in the market and then download all the positive and then start to list out all the things that people like and then all the things that people don't like and wish and then, you know, kind of do your own analysis there, but definitely a helpful tool. All right, reviews are a useful tool in your tool belt, uh, but now we're gonna actually show you guys how to go find product opportunities and markets next.